<laughs> bingo, bango. Well, hi, guys. Uh -huh. Hey. Hello. Good evening. I am Jeff. This is Mark and Steven with Hummies VR Comedy. Hello. On YouTube. Yeah. And everywhere yeah. else. Thank you for being here. Guys, you want to get into it real quick? Just just, just rapid fire into the idiom tonight? Get in, oh, my get God. In. Open okay. up. I don't right. have a lot of time. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, yeah, it's fine. I got just like a. Oh, I can't remember. Never mind. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, here it is. I'm going to give you guys an idiom. You're going to guess where it's from and what it means. Okay. Get sounds great. stuffed with hay. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get stuffed with hay. Um, my first instinct is. This is some culture's way of saying, go fuck yourself, right? Okay. That's my first instinct. Sure. But it sounds like it's a very nice culture, right? That's a nice way of saying it. Uh, objection leading the witness. Uh, well. Abstained. Think about it. We, we, we are, the phrase we use is go fuck yourself. Mm -hmm. That means to take your own dick and fuck yourself like yeah but this culture is saying stuff yourself with hay well that's much easier to do i mean i think <laughs> we have like we have things like we're like levels below go fuck yourself i think like it's not just oh well, that's nothing. the most common one right why why do we say go fuck yourself though that's i mean i don't that, know uh, that's a good sounds... point like it's not the worst thing. No, no. We, I mean, that's. And to come to think of it, I'm not even offended if someone says, dude, go fuck yourself. And I go, oh, okay. I was going to, anyways, probably. <laughs> More than yeah. likely, right. that's where I was on my way to go do. Most right. of the time, I fuck myself. Yeah, yeah, we've all done that before. It's not a big deal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huh. Let's take okay. that phrase back. Take the power out of that one. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody, if somebody tells you to go fuck yourself, don't worry about it. Yeah, you're basically saying, "Hey, man, why don't you get some sleep?" I fucking will, and I love. Yeah. I love to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Huh. All right. But Steven, guess on the uh, on the on the country or? Yeah. Go. What was it? Go stuff yourself with hay. Get stuffed with hay. Get stuffed with hay. So a, a lot of rural parts of this place, right? Um. <laughs> This will be somewhere in, uh, you know, Eastern Europe. Uh, let's go with Italy. Italy. Southern All Europe. All right. Southern An Europe. Italian, Southern European, warm think, summer hay, grasses. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's, okay. Let's I try see. that. All right. Mark, what do you got? Get stuffed with hay, meaning go, go get so stuffed with hay. <laughs> get get so uncomfortable i i hope you i wish you uncomfortableness i hope you get very uncomfortable and oh I hope okay that's what it is uh hey i'm gonna go with um uh what's got a lot of hay bethlehem <laughs> all right yep <laughs> okay <laughs> okay <laughs> wow biblical yeah. we don't yep. we don't uh <laughs> now is that Israel? I, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't think Bethlehem is a country. No, no. I, I, this is very specific. I'm, I am geo guessing. I'm right across the street, baby. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. This is geo caching. All right. Actually, let me. So, yeah, look that up. Where, where is it? Where now? is Bethlehem? Are you, are you guys don't know? <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm, I feel a little embarrassed here. For Jeez, half a point, me. for half a point, I'll say maybe it stuff like maybe go eat a lot. You know, what if? Oh, okay. That could be it, right? Yeah. Well, while well, Jeff's looking up. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Bethlehem is a city in the central West Bank, Palestine. Okay. 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 Palestine. Yeah. So it's in it's in Palestine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're guessing Palestine. <laughs> Yes, I feel like Bank. yeah, that that would be a West Bank specifically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. wow. Let's see. Let's see how close we are. 
Okay, and, and and so this definition that I have says, needless to say, this isn't an expression you direct at someone towards whom you feel fondly. And that's the only that's the only specifics they give. So I'm going to give Stephen a full point for go fuck yourself. Really? The mm -hmm. old meaning of go fuck yourself. Mm -hmm. Wow. Not, oh, not the not our current updated one that we just updated. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Okay. Get and stuffed. Get stuffed. This this is from Poland. Ah, oh, yeah. Did I say Eastern Europe first? I did. Didn't you? I? Did and I was a little nervous Fuck. that you were gonna guess it. I was like, oh, is he? Is this gonna happen? Is he gonna get a, the double here? Yeah, I was wow. actually at first I was gonna say either Ukraine or Russia, but I said let's not do that. Instead, sure. I just went. I just took a turn and went south. Damn, dude, really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, close. Oh, okay. Well, guys, does everybody feel more energized? Yeah, I think that was a good exercise. It was a oh, good... I meant like, uh, well, yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you for that. But I just meant like you know, we had a oh. big, a big shift. Over the oh, weekend, we had a the time has changed. Mm -hmm. Oh, the time Daylight changed. savings. Yeah. We lost an hour to the yeah. weekend. We got to stop doing this. On the weekends? Ever. I don't, <laughs> we don't, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't have to do it. We don't have to do it. That's There's so much technology true. now. No, look. If, if farmers want to do something, they got lights. There's lights out there. They know the land. That's true, yeah. That's I why mean, we used to do it, right? It's to give farmers an extra hour and the some I don't even fucking know. And you know what? It doesn't. Think, it's dumb. I'm not even a hundred percent sure. But yeah, what's the result? You know, now dogs are waking up their owners at different times. Mm -hmm. Everyone's confused. I'm not going to change the clock in my car for six more months. Yeah, I'm going to keep postponing that. It's a waste of time. People are blowing know? through traffic lights. <laughs> <laughs> Car wrecks. I mean, it's it's nonstop. It's the dumbest start to an apocalypse movie <laughs> you've seen. Or it's, is it? Oh, I'm late for work. That's true. <laughs> yeah, my VCR was blinking one hour earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've man. done that, and 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 now that like we were talking about it a little bit, I I started thinking. I was like, have we had this exact conversation? We have to have. On we the podcast have. before, and I forget. Like this is episode 100. And, uh, mm -hmm. So I for I like like not a compliment to us or anything. Just like I can't. I keep forgetting how long we've been doing this. Yeah, mm -hmm. we we've talked about it for sure. But I mean, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. okay. We also talk about Christmas every year. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I just I was like, oh shit, we have talked. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, someone's gonna compile every year <laughs> when we talk oh. about the same thing. <laughs> well here's something that i know that we haven't talked about before because this just happened this past week uh -huh. mm -hmm. mark do you remember the pig heart man that you yeah. told us all about mm -hmm. he's dead yeah unfortunately he passed away wow so he had the pig heart for how long two two months two months yeah okay and he sacrifice himself for science saying go ahead and do it and hopefully i bet they, they had to learn something? something yeah sure yeah. i mean it was experimental like the like it's worse see this is we know the first guy's first and last name like this guy it's like a historical what thing was that, i feel Jeff? like there's, there's, <laughs> and don't forget that name. That's a hero's wow, name. So don't ever Jeez. forget that. <laughs> like, God. No, but not, to Jeff's point, I'm just fucking around because I know there's like David Bennett Sr. There you go. David Bennett Sr. Um, but equated to the same thing as like, all right, uh first flight. That was 12 seconds or whatever, right? So then it's just gonna get longer and more they're going to learn more okay let's let's fix fix the flaps like or, think how far uh, uh prosthetic limbs have come that's true yeah look at that they There's, used to be they had to, he used to be a wooden peg yeah peg <laughs> leg 
Thank you. They used to just say, oh, here's, I'm, I'm missing a leg or an arm. What do you got? And they go, we have, we have wood. We just mm-hmm. got this piece of wood. This started out with crutches, right? Mm-hmm. And they said, wait a minute. I need what if you just put the wood where your leg is? Right. That's how simple it used to be. And, and now, now the mind shit, you know, the, the people are wearing vests and controlling a whole robotic arm. They're picking shit up. It's wild, man. It's great stuff. This guy, this guy will be remembered after this podcast. <laughs> we will remember his name for sure. <sighs> David Ben an asshole. Senior. I think he Love should be here. like, I don't know if like, you know how there's like heart month? Isn't there heart month? Oh, I'm sure there is. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like he should be like on the poster for heart health month or something like. Okay, yeah. Yeah. In all seriousness, that is a, that is a big, huge gamble to be like you know what something something will happen so but two yeah. months look they they were talking about this three days later they were like you guys are gonna fucking believe this it worked and we are on day three so guys, even they were like it was newsworthy still here yeah guys <laughs> we're trying to play it cool around him but holy <laughs> shit he's still alive on day three right right you're right you're right what a gamble, huh? But I'll tell you something I didn't gamble on. Oh, God. Our next topic. Oh. <laughs> Which is... Go ahead. You, it's, you know more about it. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a serve. <laughs> Speaking of gambling... It was a horrible, I, horrible pass, yeah. I, I hope you guys are... Uh, Locked into FanDuel. But do, this, do we still have, do we have our do we have our segment, our little musical segment for this or no? Yeah, go along. A okay. hike. Mm-hmm. Grr, grr, grr. <laughs> All right. Nice. Oh, okay, and the window got broken. <laughs> Tom Brady is not retiring anymore, guys. What happened there? Uh, people suspect that he was around his family, and he said. <laughs> You know what? I'm coming out. I'm going to do this again. <laughs> Makes that sense. Is, that is the thing. It, I That's what I realized. I was like, how does he look so fucking young? It's because he's not around his family at all. Think about <laughs> so, it. That's what I was telling Dana you're... downstairs. Like, if fucking Thanksgiving games and Christmas games, mm-hmm. you can't just not show up. It's not like, oh, I, I got to be with my family that day. Every time it's Thanksgiving, oh, God, oh let's, let's get the in-laws together. No. I have a game. Can't be there. Sorry. Wish I could. And then they go, okay, well, how about we go do something on a long weekend? Oh, sorry. I'm in Miami. I'm playing the Dolphins on Sunday, so I can't do all the family shit. But I can help out, like, you know, Tuesday through, you know, Wednesday, picking up the kids and stuff. See them <laughs> oh, for, thanks, for an hour. Yeah. Thanks, so you're TV. Saying, all right. How old is he? 44. Okay. Looks fucking amazing. Do you keep it in your pants? I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> well, okay, so what you're saying is maybe all, Jason Momoa. all football players <laughs> should look good then if they're all missing Thanksgiving every year, right? Well, yeah, I, I, that's true. But <laughs> but here's the thing that he's he's elite. He's got job security. A lot of those guys don't have job security. So there's a lot of worrying going on, you know? Oh, I'm sure a lot of them are worrying so much. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, dude. So gas prices, they're all probably very concerned about gas prices. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. It's affecting everybody. Hmm. These gas prices. Um how long yeah. was he retired for? Oh, two weeks. No. Uh I think I want to say maybe a month, two months, right? The Super Bowl was in February, I think, and he was like yeah, I'm going to spend time with my kids, and, you know, I missed out on a lot. I don't want to miss out anymore. And I'm back, baby. <laughs> Wait, did he um, did he play in the Super Bowl? No. No, he did okay. not. So like a bunch of like, times. Yeah, he did. Oh, well, well no, no, no. no. I mean, this, <laughs> yeah. this, this most recent. Yeah, um, seven. So, I'm sorry. Big game. Big game. Big Oh, uh, oh uh, yeah. Oh, was no, we're canceled. Uh, <laughs> did, did, how long is he back for, did he say? I mean, he's going to do another season for sure. All right, so one year at least. Yeah, one year. He's not saying. Okay. How about this? The guy 
There's a guy who paid five hundred thousand dollars for Tom Brady's last touchdown pass. Uh uh oh but but he's back. Oh, so it's worthless now. <laughs> it's what not do you mean worthless. He paid, paid five thousand dollars for what? The, f- the football that was used? The football that was Tom Brady's last touchdown pass <laughs> was purchased for five hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Which is a lot of money, but also that is a pretty iconic thing to have. This is his last touchdown ball. And then when you unretire and you throw another touchdown, I guarantee you this guy's going to have fucking headhunters on Tom Brady. Trying to <laughs> take out his legs. Make he's sure he's going to spend $500,000 on Hitman. <laughs> exactly. He's gonna, if he has $500,000 on a ball, he can spend a million to keep that invested more. I have no sympathy for whoever this is no that. some dickhead buying a ball for five hundred thousand dollars five hundred thousand dollars yeah you know what i bet he's gonna buy all of tom brady's retirement pass balls you know there's the, it, that's something yeah so now i have all the balls oh man that's so <laughs> you'd have to yeah just hedge your hedge your bets just every, cover them all every time Ty, he watches tom brady throw a <laughs> touchdown pass he's like fuck i gotta pay <laughs> Two hundred thousand dollars for that one, yeah, unbelievable. Five hundred thousand wow. dollars. I don't. I, I. I think I would just quit my job if I if someone gave me five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, like, I like how it's not totally. even like technically it's not that much, but I could live off that. I guess. So that's a couple home. Like that's probably yeah. like yeah, two homes or more Where? in a lot of places. Yeah, I was about to say here the fucking market is insane right now. You can't absolute get insanity. Dick. No. Yeah. But in some places, I mean, that's... that's no, for a, sure, yeah. You could get you could get two houses and... That he paid for a fucking That piece ball. of shit town. <laughs> I'm mm. just kidding. No, mm. I just want everyone to be like, what were you going to say? <laughs> <sighs> no, $500,000 for a ball is fucking insane, yeah. I wouldn't pay that for a car, right? I mean, no, it's I wouldn't a ball. pay that a for a house. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's a good wouldn't point. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I would pay. Yeah, no, I wouldn't because I don't fucking have that money. Yeah, no. Ugh. I was just trying well, to think of something that like is more that you already pay more anyway. But yeah, five hundred thousand dollars for a car would be fucking dumb too. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, there are five hundred thousand dollar cars, sure, sure, but like, like those, you don't have to worry about the car like going into and out of retirement. I guess, like, that's true. Yeah. That's a pretty solid. Inv- I mean, yeah, you, you get insurance. I don't know this. What a ding dong! Yeah, total dick bat. <laughs> total dick bat. Hmm. Dick bat. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. That reminds me. What does that remind you of? Of a question that was brought up. Do you want to go? You want to go to the other thing first? Oh sure, go for it. No, no. Uh, Jeff has something. Maybe? Oh, I or wanted, do, or do you want to go to? The- to- I wanted to update everybody. I uh, last week we talked about um, being angry and getting angry, and uh, that sometimes I'm a little pissy bitch. Mm-hmm. Um, first of all, I'm not like that's not a thing. It's embarrassing. It's like not a thing I'm proud of. Like oh, guys, sometimes I get so angry. Ooh, like I'm not I'm not proud of that behavior at all. Like it's it's I probably try to hide that more than anything else. But but. This past week, I got some new RAM for the computer. Ooh, that's and memory for everyone at home. That's memory. <laughs> that's random access mm-hmm. memory. Mark is our sports guy. We are the computer guys. <laughs> <laughs> installing RAM, for, for those that don't know, installing RAM should be one of the simpler things that you can do to a computer. On the grand scale scheme of things in a computer, it's, it's uh, more or less just opening the case sticking them in should be how it goes okay of course that's not how it went Mm. i stick them in nothing comes up on this the monitor when i turn the computer back on nothing's working nothing's working and i'm then having to unplug these things check them one at a time go through and just kind of guessing i didn't get angry i didn't Hmm. I didn't have a little temper tantrum. Was, I started this later in the day, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to. I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm not gonna stay up all night like trying to figure this shit out. I just went to bed. Did you? Wow. Sleep? 
I slept, I slept fine. And I got up the next day and it took me a while, but I figured it out and it's working now without ever throwing a little temper tantrum or stomping my little feet. Mm, I kept your cool. Kept wow. my cool the whole time. There you go. You're growing, I think. Well, what uh, what was the issue if, for those that are installing RAM? Uh, I think it had to do with the BIOS. Maybe I, it's not really like that's the thing. Like I, from what everything I read and everything I tried, nothing. I didn't really do anything. It just kind of started working at some point, <laughs> which is nice. the beauty of computers. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So uh, I, I couldn't tell you exactly what I did to fix it. I couldn't tell you exactly what, what happened to make it go wrong, but it's working now. And I, and I did it without ever getting angry. Wow. Good for you. You know, I want to real, real quick. I want to, I want to pig heart off the back of that sure. <laughs> story. And I actually had a, a moment where I don't, I, I'm a piece of shit. I fucking suck. Sometimes I want to die, you know? And <laughs> I, I was, I'm not good. I'm not good at, um, learning things, knowing things, <laughs> um, and any, any sort of fix, fixy jobby thing around the house. Fixy jobby stuff. No good. Yeah. So as you all know, we had a long story about me locking myself out of the house. Mm-hmm. Oh, if I've been so angry that that door has just still been like that. I said, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to replace that door. I'm going to replace that door. Me. Look at me. Mark Brady replacing door handles. So that's what I did. The, that, hey. that piece. I replaced it. I, wow. now, I YouTube something. I it was very calm. I said, I, I'm, it said 15 minutes. It'll take, it took me about 45, but you know what? I did it. I replaced it. It worked. Now, uh, three weeks later, we're using the front door. We've used it every single day. Three weeks later, I go to, I unlock the door. I pull the door handle. The handle comes off the door. (laughs) Not laughing at you. Not laughing at you. (laughs) And first of all, first of all, after I accomplished, like once I, the door worked and I completed the job. I was looking around and I was like, why am I not getting fucked right now? Because I feel like I'm the man around here. I just fucking replaced a door handle. Like people should be applauding. There should be confetti. There should be some sort of, you know, band coming down the street celebrating what I had just done. Yeah. But of course, three weeks later, I fucking opened the door to go out the front and the handle ripped right off. And it turned out there's this little knob in my, my, uh, dude, this is so embarrassing. My brother-in-law came over. It's my kid's birthday and he can fix it. He, he works uh, at a hardware store. He fixes everything. Okay. He can fix anything. Doesn't matter. So he looked at it and he goes, um, <laughs> he, goes he goes, Oh, I, yeah, I think I can fix it. He's like checking it out with a flashlight. He's like, Oh yeah, this is the little knobs in there. So I think you just got to pop it out. And he goes, but I need a hex wrench. And I, I go, oh, yeah. <laughs> he goes, do you have one of those? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to let me go grab it. And he starts to come out with me. Meanwhile, I have. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So you can just stall as long as possible yeah. so that he can look for it. <laughs> yeah, well, I was like, I was like, oh, he, it's because it's hard to get to the toolbox. Like, it's only for one person, but. He was coming out and I saw him coming out and I was like, shit. And I have my phone. I was Googling what a hex wrench was. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it as an, as an Allen wrench, right? Sure. So that, that is another name for it. Is that right? Correct. Allen, Allen wrench, Allen key, hex key, okay, hex wrench. So, yeah. And when he said hex key, I didn't know what the fuck it was. So I, I was, I had my back to him and I was, I had uh I was Googling ads. I was like, yeah, let me find it. And he was like, he, he can see me, but he can't see where my phone is, you know? And then he just sees my, my face glowing in the fucking garage. And so I look it up. I go, oh, yeah, I do have that. And I go, Here, here's the, and I overpronounce it. I'm like, here's the hex wrench you wanted. It's a, <laughs> the hex one. And of course, it was a different one. Ours was American. I think you needed a metric or a. Or a there's whatever. metric and standard. Yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah. So. So he's like, oh, I got one. Uh, I'll, 
I'll let you use it. And he fucking pulls it out of his pocket. No, he didn't have it on him. He had to go back home or he uh, gave it to us the next day. But uh, anyway, then I go to, I go to like do this. I'm like, Oh, I can do this real quick. I'll go to pop it out. And then I, I just stick the thing in there and I'm twisting it around. And then I don't know what to do from there. <laughs> like there's nothing's happening and nothing's going on. And, the, and both kids are like, like Aaron is on my legs. You know, she's one, she's, She's on my legs, like trying to, you know, pull me somewhere. And then Peyton's like, come play with me. Come play with me. I'm like, dad's trying to fix this. Out. And then Dan's like, do you want me to try to fix it while you you play with him? And I go, uh-huh, sure. Yeah. Dude, I didn't know what the <laughs> fuck to do. I was like, I was twisting this thing. I was like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Dana, Dana fixed it within a minute. And I was, <laughs> I was like, oh, did you fix it? And, I, and she goes, yeah, yeah, it was easy. I popped it. I was like, yeah, yeah, I know. But just so I... <laughs> If it happens again, can you tell me what you did? Like, because I wasn't there the whole time. And so she's said, <laughs> man, I am, I am just bullshitting my way through life. Absolute bullshit. You know what? Yeah, we all are. I th- we all I, are. And that's okay. I yeah. think most people are. It's just nobody knows enough about everything to call anybody out on it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. We're all right. doing the same thing. It's just yeah. we can't prove that the other one is also doing the same thing. Right. Right. Yeah. We're all just individual brains. None of us knows everything. We're all just trusting that there are other people that know yeah. those things. So, right. yeah. Yeah. We're all bullshitting. And it's kind of weird. Yeah. It it's just- a little weird. It's it's like that. It, like everybody's just pretending. It's very, very Truman Show or something. Like, what's, yeah. who's really in charge? Is anybody in charge, actually? I don't think so. Yeah, not really. Yeah, well, actually, here's an, we're, uh, just a quick segment of who's in charge. Our new segment on the show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> welcome to who's in charge. <laughs> it's a, this is a sad segment. <laughs> it's a sad segment where we really take a look and, and we say, are, who is this person really in charge? I don't, maybe not. Mm-hmm. This week. <laughs> I don't know how this segment works. Are you going to just flash images up of leaders around the world and we just we just say no to every one of them? It's just pictures of dads, <laughs> uh, the bus driver, principals, coaches. So who's in charge? We we don't. Are they? Managers. The answer is general managers. managers. Generals. <laughs> owners. How managers? long is this segment? <laughs> All right, and this has been Who's in Charge? <laughs> we'll see you next week. Thank you. <laughs> that was a great, great episode. I think so. It was a great episode, that one. I think we got the point across. <laughs> There's, you know, something to think about, folks. Who's your question? question. Yeah, most people don't think. That's another problem. We'll a lot get into of that. people are not thinking. We'll get into that on our next segment. Who's yeah, thinking? Give it a thought. <laughs> Who's thinking? What, what a waste of everyone's time. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually one of our highest rated segments honestly <laughs> the the analytics that we get back on that are tremendous yeah people people tune in <laughs> for who's in charge yeah um <sighs> before okay. while, while we're talking about things that would piss you off so in i had a somebody in chat on twitch recently was telling us about how they ordered a pizza mm-hmm. waited and waited and waited Pizza never showed. Over an hour they waited. And then finally, the pizza place contacts them and said, hey, I don't know if they just ran out of pizza or what, but they said, we're not going to be able to bring you a pizza. Okay. Here's $20 for the trouble. Gave them like a coupon or something. Wow. I don't, I'm not going to tell you what this person did in response to that for their meal and for the rest of the evening. What would you, what do you guys do in that situation? Oh, you got to find something else to eat. You're <laughs> hungry at that sure. point. Okay, reasonable, reasonable. So, so yeah, okay. what do I do? Yeah, yeah, what would you do? Your pizza place says, nope, can't do it. Here's 20 bucks. I just I just go in the fridge and then I make make something. Find something. Not yeah. not, not get out a grill or, or anything, but just make something simple like <laughs> a sandwich. Peanut butter and jelly or something? Yeah, sure. So this person, this might be the saddest story that I've ever heard in my life. Oh, no. Do you want to cue up that exact same track again? Yeah. <laughs> uh, everybody, this is an episode of Saddest Thing You've Heard This Week here with Mark, Stephen, and Jeff. Thanks for being here. 
Uh, so what they went to bed. This person just went what? to bed. Oh my god! Isn't that just the saddest fucking thing you've ever heard? So the, so the they, email is the last thing they see, and then you just go, "Well, I guess my night's over," and you right. get in bed with this music. <laughs> I think this music was playing. Yeah. And so wow. And they reached over and reached for their chain lamp, and then <laughs> they and turned that off, and then just pulled the covers up over their head. <laughs> And just stayed there until the sun came up the next day. <laughs> Which was an hour earlier. An hour earlier, thanks. Obama. <laughs> wow, you make you make sleep sound so sad. <laughs> Stay there until the sun came up. Wow. All right, and this has been the saddest story I've heard this week. Mark, Stephen, and Jeff, thank you. Whew, All geez. these segments are... Really it's a lot. We 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 put together a good show. We we you know we don't skimp. Mm -hmm. This is our bread and butter, second wow. bread and butter. Yeah. Okay. I just thought that was it was a surprising move. It was not one that I would ever make in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> it really caught me off guard and really made me sad. Right. Yeah. Did they teach the pizza place a lesson by going to bed instead of just eating? <laughs> Maybe they did. I, yeah, I don't. I, I guess I'd have to get in touch with the uh, pizza place to see if they felt like they had been taught a lesson. I, Let's, can we call them? You want to call? <laughs> you want to call the pizza? Oh. Yeah, yeah. We'll find it. We'll find out that exact pizza location. And we'll call them and say, "Do you know this is what happened? Are you aware that someone just went to bed because you <laughs> denied them dinner?" Questions have happened. So we've we've got <laughs> we. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy guys i didn't want to bring this one up from the past but let's get into a quick episode of have questions happen this week <laughs> all right and this is we'll have questions happen with mark steven and jeff mm -hmm. yes. to steven they have yeah thank you all right um, um yeah a question came in from uh actually from tiktok right yeah title sent us a question from tiktok that i thought was a real head scratcher do you mean, I'll, I'll play it. I'll play it. I'll play the audio so everybody can get the real. Okay. Uh, full. It sounds good. Yeah. And I want everyone to defend their answers passionately and with extreme prejudice. If every inanimate object spoke its name when you used it, for example, if I swung a baseball bat and hit a baseball, it would go bat really loudly. What object would be the most annoying? To use, I have a very so an object that every object screams its own name when you use it. What's the most annoying object yeah. to use? I believe that is the the, the question. I got but mine, I have a baby. lot of sub questions about. This. Yeah, there's a lot there. Okay, like I, for I example, think... you you turn on the TV and it's in use constantly. So is it constantly shouting TV 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 TV? Hmm. Maybe monitor, monitor, monitor. <laughs> yeah, I. Well, I think, and then light. Go for like the in question. His example of the bat is it is it ball bat because you're hitting the bat with the ball. They're both being used. Hmm. Interesting. Oh god. Like where it's, does it where does it end? Yeah. Let's say you're tired and it's it's a hot night. You want to go to sleep, so you turn the fan on. Fan, 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 fan. fan. <laughs> like is it uh, like that? Uh, yeah. I sleep with the fan on even in the winter, so that okay. would that'd be a big problem. Is, is for me. the bed gonna yell at you every second you lay in it? You're oh. using it. Is or are your shoes? My, yeah, my sub question is: Yeah, only the moment you first use the thing does it say its name, and not constantly. That's my question. I. I think to be able to get to an answer for this, then yeah, I think Steven, it's it's the instant that the thing is used for okay. the first time. Okay then. All right. Okay. Well, I have mine and mm. we everyone's on their phones these days. <laughs> uh -huh. Um no, uh mine would be keyboard. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. That's 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 it. Right, the moment you stop tossing it, you're not using it. 
<laughs> I can't, dude, drive me fucking crazy. I, oh I obviously, I do a lot of writing and uh, work and stuff like that. I have everyone else in the world. But yeah, you fucking, you want to type an email, fucking forget about it. Just, you might have to call that person. Everything is voice to text at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Keyboard that might be the happen. right answer. So here's my, <laughs> not to get, not to get like, like too into it, but like, I mean, that's kind of what our thing is. Like, we should probably just get too into it. Get into um, it. Yeah. We get, we get way into it. We get so deep. And I know this is probably, this seems like a perfect time for an episode of let's get into it, but we're just going to pass that right, <laughs> yeah. right now. We don't I know have a lot time. of people are like, no, go do it. Let's, we want to hear, let's get into it. <laughs> not, not tonight, not tonight. Mm -hmm. Um, but are, are we, are we saying that the, the whole, the keyboard as a whole or, or each individual key as you're hitting them? I would think for me, what I thought of was each individual key because right. you're using that one key each time as opposed to as like, as opposed to, like we said, a bed, like you lay down on a bed and you're using it, but that the initial contact, right? Yes. Yes. I agree. I agree with that because you can't just say, you can't just say, I'm going to go, what buttons do you hit to type this, to type the word hello? You can't just say keyboard. You have to say mm -hmm. H E L L O. Mm -hmm. But then also with the bed one, are we forgetting that it's sheets, pillow, bed, box, spring, mattress frame? <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a fucking Macarena underneath you. Yeah. So you jump into bed and all those things scream. Yeah. yeah. Duvet, comforter, <laughs> foam topper. There's, I mean, there's just a symphony of shit when you jump in the bed. Yeah, that's true. When you, yeah, first. Or if you're using the bed, is it... I mean, if, if you're going for eight hours, does the bed go? <gasps> bed. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> wow. <sighs> so many questions. I think it's a first bed. Like bed, you use it. Don't roll around. Don't you fucking move after that. But what are your guys' man? <sighs> Similar to yours, kind I think of. You've Mark. got the best answer, yeah. I was, I was thinking drum set or any sort of percussive Ooh. instrument. Yeah, like imagine going to a blue man group show. <laughs> right. I, would, I would say any instrument at that point, right? Because yeah. even guitar, you strum. Music's fucking dead. Right. It, yeah. You you're, you can't hear anything except for strings, strings, guitar pick, strings. Mm hmm. Exactly. Yeah, that drumstick, that hi hat, floor tom, floor pedal. I think you ruin. Uh, other than like maybe painting, you've you've ruined art as a whole. I mean, like even let's shoot this movie. They're, they're like, <laughs> oh god, yeah, like movies and plays, and like everybody's like it's just stage, foot, stage, shoes, <laughs> like people walking around, fucking costume, clothing, right. <laughs> Yeah. Jacobian rough and skull. <laughs> like, you know, you, you can't even do Shakespeare anymore. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Sports would be pretty terrible, especially like fencing. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. that, but yeah, music, music's done. I, I, okay. So my answer is just drums or musical instrument. I think if that, that might be too broad, but that's where I'm going. No, that's, that's good. Steven. Wow. Um, well, my, my questions with the art thing is, you know, if you walk by a painting and you look at it, is it going to tell you when you look at it? <laughs> Are you using the painting when you're looking at it? Right. Mm. You know, I do know, but I don't know. Yeah. Like if it, like if a tree falls in the forest, you know, right. And it lands on somebody. Then do they, do you call the cops? Hear yell tree. <laughs> if no one's around. Very Libraries are pretty much done, right? Libraries are, are, are have oh, to go yeah. away at this point. Yeah, I think so. Every page that's turned. Okay. Yeah, it's the loudest place on earth now. <sighs> Might as well be a construction site, which are also unbearable. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like a jackhammer. Like a. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the life would be, yeah, very hard. Oh, puppets too. It just P completely puppets. ruins the suspension of disbelief when when every time like you hear them open their mouth, they just pop it, pop it, pop it. Oh uh, uh, yeah, then I yeah. instantly forget that it's okay. yeah, yeah. I don't have a lot of those 
moments. No, no, <laughs> but I can see how it's it can be. Yeah, for sure, it can ruin your day. It would ruin mine. Ruin every day. I love waking up and seeing Cookie Monster. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Is is it, it's just the object, right? Like, right? Yeah, Am I crazy? I, like, I think so. It's According not to like him. the category or anything like that. Like, like if a scientist is doing experiments and they're mixing potions or whatever, you know, they have they have a syringe that they put into a petri. To, you know, syringe comes up, but does the word science also come up? <laughs> I don't think so, but also I'm not sure that you know the difference between a scientist and a witch. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But that's for another time, I feel like. That's sure. Uh Or now. Do do it now. We can have an episode of Is This a Witch? witch. Steven, uh, who uses a cauldron? A scientist or a witch? Um both i don't know i think i I need some inspirational music to help me with these answers Mm. i think okay well here's a uh, guys this is fantastic (laughs) tonight i had planned an episode Mm. of here's some inspirational music so let's just get into that okay i think i think a witch would mostly use a cauldron right yeah okay and we're done with this has been (laughs) (laughs) thank you (laughs) <laughs> this has been that's the better sign off okay that's been uh <laughs> fantastic it's it's a good question wait steven did you say what you were going to use what's annoying mm, no i mean because okay. i don't know the rule like i don't know like clothing i mean i'm wearing the shirt every time i move am i using the shirt or am <laughs> hmm. i gotta understand question. yeah you so know what I mean? that you bring up a very important uh, thought that I I feel like we've we've touched on before with you know when, when we were answering people's questions and these hypotheticals and everything is that, that some of them are kind of vague or, or, or open ended. Mm-hmm. I wonder, can we sh- could we start like a like a Supreme Court of hypotheticals or something or like all these. <laughs> Like ridiculous <laughs> questions would that have these these like is it the feet? Is it the shoes when you're walking around? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Supreme Court. So like, you would have to rule like definitive, this is the answer. Yes. End of story. End of like our vote or you know, wh- whoever whoever is elected to be or appointed, they're they're appointed, not elected. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh a member of the hypothetical Supreme Court. <laughs> They're they're the ruling body on this. They're who whatever they say is law at that point. Yeah. Okay. That, that sounds great. I would love to. And and it's it'll be us three. And yeah, uh, you gotta have a an odd number, right? Yeah. 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 No term limits either. No. <laughs> okay. Great. I well, wait. I just I, found the job. Yeah, I can't wait for the next question that has to be ruled if anybody's listening and they have a question that they need a ruling on let us know yep write us a letter send it to p.o box ours Mm -hmm. Mm. we'll answer it well guys do we have anything else going on in our in our lives is there is there there anything exciting Uh, i do have some dates Oh, uh, if I can, if I can throw those out. Your wife know about that? Oh, oh man! Beep 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 beep. beep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, got some dates here. Oh, March eighteenth through twentieth, I will be at the Richmond Galaxy Con. I don't even know the schedule yet, but we're doing about ten different shows. Not all of them stand up, but comedy related. So uh, I'll be there. Also. Um, March 25th, I'm going back to Richmond, Virginia. <laughs> and that is going to be at a place called Busky Cider. Me and um, uh, another comic are co-headlining. And there's a 6.30 and 8.30 show. So two shows, one night. Um, what else is going on? What else? What else? <laughs> what um, else? What else? April 16th, uh, Saturday, I'm headlining Good Nights. So that's on a Saturday. That'll be in the, th- the third story room. So it's a smaller, more intimate room. I am working on um, some new material. And if you've heard the album, you're going to hear some of that again. So <laughs> don't get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already shitting on my own show. 
uh, April 29th. I forgot where that is, but I do have a date. Um, I'll get that back. Um, oh, May 26th, I'll be at Charlotte, North Carolina, the Evening Muse. That's on a Thursday and uh, also co-headlining with the same guy. So Charlotte, North Carolina, the Evening Muse, May 26th. So those are just a couple. And um, yeah. Well, that's exciting. Like that's huge. Yeah. That's that's, stuff I mean, that's on. a lot of, that's a lot of dates and, you know, um, more it's, than, you know, just not, I'm not, and I, I'm trying to say like, I'm not a mean, like it's more than just around town. Like, I, I, it's like, I'm glad to that. Like, I hope this is like a bigger thing for you and then for stand up in general, like, like that maybe people are kind of getting back and doing stand up and yeah i feel like uh i mean stand up's better than i feel like it's ever been uh in the general sense not currently but um sure. yeah i feel like it's this uh you got to start booking your own stuff you can't just sit around and wait to be booked or anything like that if you want to mm -hmm. do shows now it's at, at a point where we've re reached out to some independent places and say hey we want to we're going to put this show on and um that's what's gonna go down you know so um yeah, there's a, there's a couple more things on the horizon, but uh, I'll update that whenever. So, thanks for letting me plug it. Now let's get sad. Oh, of you guys wanna, should we should we weep our way out? Yeah, yeah. I think this episode's been too funny. We need to bring it back down. Yeah. So, just uh, everyone try to not enjoy the last few seconds here. Let's let's think of something. Let's each say something sad <laughs> on our or paint a sad picture on our with the music all right well here's everybody welcome to this week's so, episode of going out on a low note so we're, all right so when the music's playing it's going to be one painting one painting right but each of us has one subject that's in that painting one one description so sure someone could have the background uh i see i see cavern mm. blurry cold Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, in that cavern is an adult that has gone to bed without dinner. <laughs> That's what I saw. Hmm. Laying on an ice bed. Yeah. Colder than they've ever been. Mm -hmm. Only sure. in hopes of being warmed up by a pizza that never came. sort of draped over the edge of the ice bed and the phone is just on the floor just out of reach mm -hmm. and they don't have the energy because they're too weak from not eating to grab it and then we see a $20 gift certificate just one corner bitten off oh man damn All right. Well, that's been, let's go out on a low note, everybody. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening this week. Uh, we had a great time. Hope you did too. Don't forget to check us out on all the places, like, rate, and review. And uh, we'll see you all next week. All right. That sounds good. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> How many times have we played this tonight? <laughs> we need a new song, huh? We'll get a new one. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>